boxing match. All right, welcome back to the show, Trinidad and Tobago. And to all of our viewers, thank you so much for joining us here on the No Morning Show on TTT. Now, there have been a lot of questions about how viable masks are. Cloth masks as compared to surgical masks, as compared to the N95 and the K, and you have a variation. So this morning with me on your body and you is Dr. Patrice Rabathali, who is Senior Public Health Specialist and a TNT com Country Representative for the Center for Disease Control. So we went all out to get ensure that we got you the correct information. Good morning to you, Dr. Abathali. Good morning. Thank you for having me. You're most welcome. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. Thank you. Okay, nice. <laughs> so, Doc, talk to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. Why is it important? We know the CDC recently changed uh, their guidelines for mask wearing, what kind of mask we can wear. Mm -hmm. What's the danger of using cloth masks, especially against the variants? Well, that's a very good question. First and foremost, I want to say that wearing any mask is better than wearing no mask. So that's the first thing I want to clarify. It's yeah. very important for us to understand that. Um, now, the science, as the science evolves, we need to update our guidelines, and yeah. that's basically what we've done. Um, we're not opposed to persons wearing a cloth mask. However, we would like to ensure that you wear the most protective mask that you can have available to you. The cloth mask, we would recommend if it's at least two ply, then you know, please go ahead and wear it. Um, however, you still have the disposable mask available. You also have the KN95 and the NIOSH N95 mask. All these are available. Right. So whichever mask that you can find that you can wear well, well-fitting, covering your nose and mouth, that's the mask we want you to wear. So why did the CDC change its guidelines then? If we understand yes. that any kind of mask is better than no mask, yes. why the change? Well, as I said, the science evolved. We have Omicron variant on the rise. And we've noticed because Omicron seems to be so much more transmissible that there is need for us to ramp up our public health tools. The mask is definitely one of those. And probably mm -hmm. the most effective one when it comes on to preventing, you know, getting the virus. Well, we want to couple that with continuing your hand sanitization, avoiding crowded crowds, ensuring that if you're in indoors that it's ventilated, well ventilated. So it's a combination of tools. Yeah. yeah. In, in terms of the masks though, are we seeing mm -hmm. that, especially where the Omicron variant is concerned, mm -hmm. that the cloth mask does not protect us against it? So I don't want to say that it doesn't protect it. As I said, the most important thing here is wear any mask that is available to you. However, we agree that there are varying degrees of protection that you can get from all the different masks that we have. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and in terms of the, the protection from mm -hmm. the masks, mm -hmm. uh, in terms of the Delta variant compared to the Omicron variant, mm -hmm. does it make a difference to the mask that you wear? I would say that, of course, if you wear a mask that appears to have much more, may, may appear more protective, such as the respirators, which is the KN95 and the N95, those are able to keep within um, within the mask, your own droplet, so that it's not available to be exposed to other persons. Mm -hmm. However, most important message, wear any mask, wear it well. Make sure it's well fitting, covering mm -hmm. the orifice of the nose and the mouth. How often should we change our masks, Doc? Because I know I see people in masks, and I, you know, it's something I, I myself was yes. very conscious yes. of in the earlys, because they have on a mask, and I'd be like, no. I've right. been chatting for a while, this feels saturated, let me Correct. change it. Well, if you feel that way, I say go with the hunch. At the end of the day, if you're wearing a mask that says it's disposable, then that's what it is. It's something that you should change regularly, probably daily, if you're wearing it that frequently. Um, the N95 and KN95, you can wear for longer, two to three days. Also, mm -hmm. oh, those mm -hmm. can go longer periods. But so mm -hmm. like for the surgical mask that I am wearing, mm -hmm. are there any dangers to the mask, you know, us becoming, people who are wearing this mask being, uh, at risk if the mask is saturated is something I was always curious about. Well, let's just go with it being, it's all a matter of hygiene. If you think the mask is at, it's at that point that it needs to be changed, I would say change it. At the end of the day, if it's disposable, then it's really a one wear. Yeah, yeah. but you can go 24 hours with the mask. Well, with people have, people have, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I am not doing 24 hours with a mask at all. I think I'd get too nervous. Okay. And if you notice, I have one too. Yes. Talk about that, Doc. Is, is it, you know, does it offer us more protection when we have one too as compared to one? Well, I, I did mention that two-ply is better. So, yes, yes, if you're wearing two masks, then yes, it should offer a dual protection. 
to some extent. At the end of the day, though, we are comparing that with the other types of masks we have available, yeah. right, including the respirators. And do we have mm -hmm. any data to suggest that people are more prone to, to transmitting or contracting uh, the, the, the coronavirus? when they wear cloth masks? Okay, no, so we don't have any data to prove that just yet. Perhaps those studies are ongoing, um, but that's not where we're at. At this point in time, even though this is the public health tool we're promoting, yeah. obviously the best public health measure against COVID-19 is getting vaccinated. Yeah. All right, so persons who are well updated with their vaccination and they're boosted, they have the optimal protection, along with wearing a mask, up, uh, uh, affording yourself correct hygiene, and of course, avoiding crowds. So it works hand in hand. Yes. We, we aren't protected if we do all of these measures without being vaccinated. Well, you give yourself the most, the, the most, op the best opportunity. Right. Yes. So mm -hmm. just wear your mask, wash your hands, sanitize, social distance, yes. get vaccinated. Yes, please. And then yes, we're, please. we're quite on track. Well, but we, seem, mm -hmm. we, we have seen countries that have, you know, a high percentage of a vaccination, but still ending up with transmission. How yes. do you think we can protect ourselves in such instances? Okay, well, it's the same messages. I mean, um, we, it, it's very true. We still have breakthrough infections. Yeah. However, the data is showing us that nine out of 10 persons that end up in uh, ER, um, hospitalized, and unfortunately death, nine out of 10 times, these are persons who are unvaccinated. So the best public health measure is to ensure that you're up to date with your vaccinations. So let's talk about the conversation about the vaccinated versus the unvaccinated. We see governments mm -hmm. across the world do it. We hear about the pandemic on, of the unvaccinated. Uh, can, will the messaging, will change in the messaging help us to, to, to fight the virus, to fight the pandemic better? Well, I, I guess we have to figure out what changing the message, how would we change the message? At the end of the day, we have to ensure that we give the right message. There's a lot of misinformation going around. But the easiest, the, the best um, information is the one where you can find a trusted source that is going to provide you with the correct science. Um, and here we are advocating and recommending, please stay up to date with your vaccinations. Please wear your mask, wear it well. Please ensure that you wash your hands as often as possible and ensure that you avoid crowds. We have to just keep the right message in. We can't give up. We have to beat this virus. Yeah, well, we definitely need to, I mean, talking about 2019 and now we're at 2022. Correct. I think a lot of people are frustrated and just want to just breathe, Agreed. literally just be able to breathe. Yes. Are there any circumstances under which, you know, we can not wear a mask and feel relatively safe? You know, you spoke earlier about the open, the open spaces as, yes. as compared to closed spaces. Well, CDC's recommendations for that would be for persons who are up to date with their vaccinations, yeah. up to date with their vaccinations, and you're still continuing to maintain as many of the other public health measures as possible. Um, but then you have to ensure that you are in what we call here in Trinidad safe zones, um, where other persons are also vaccinated and up to date with them. Um, however, we still recommend that if you're not, if it's not a recreational activity such as eating and drinking, that you still wear your mask. How much, how much more layer of protection do we get, Doc, from the surgical masks as compared to the cloth mask? Well, if we have to rank it, we would put the cloth masks, um, we'll have the cloth mask, then the disposable surgical mask, then the KN95, and then the N95. Okay. However, we understand that it's all about what is available to you. And the key message that we want to tell everyone is that you're going to wear whatever mask you can that is available to you and that you wear it appropriately. It must be well fitting. There are many masks out there. Sometimes you're not seeing it, you know, covering appropriately. It must cover your nose and mouth. Yeah, a lot mm -hmm. of people wear their masks below their nose and nose. Well, <laughs> that's like, not going to be as effective. Yeah. Uh, the aim here is to cover where you breathe. Use your nose and your mouth. This is what we want covered. Right. Uncovered appropriately. I, I know mm -hmm. we didn't plan to speak about this, but mm -hmm. do we have, I don't know if you could guide me, any further signs on whether or not we could transmit the virus through our eyes? Because I remember in the earliest, that was one of the considerations, you know, that it can be transmitted through, I don't know. It's an interesting question, but at this point in time, we want to consider that it's, it's droplets that we're yeah. looking at. This is um, basically looking at respiratory droplets. Um, and we do uh, consider, you know, if you need to protect, you can protect your eyes as well. But at this point in time, the message is protecting your nose and mouth with a mask. So that's what we're going to continue to recommend.
Right. Mm -hmm. So if we have to continue in this mm -hmm. pandemic for another year, oh. two, I mean, <laughs> are there any dangers to being in these masks for so long? You know, that's a really good question. And perhaps there's already some stu studies looking at that. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, we really want to try and, you know, to get to this end, we have to get everyone on board with getting vaccinated. That is the only way out. Mm -hmm. All right. If we don't get enough people vaccinated and don't get to, you know, the level of immunity that we, we, we require, the virus has the opportunity to continue to mutate and to continue to have more variants available. This is what we're trying to avoid. And even though the vaccines mm -hmm. are, some of them are used with different technologies, the Pfizer and the Moderna compared to the AstraZeneca and the Johnson, mm -hmm. Johnson & Johnson compared to the Sinopharm, for example, does it make a difference what vaccine we take? Any vaccine is better than no vaccine. Same as any mask, better than no mask. Yeah. Yes. And, you know, in terms of vaccination, is it, is it mm -hmm. key mm -hmm. to managing or getting rid of the pandemic? I think it's most certainly key. It is our number one measure because it is the one way of decreasing transmissibility, decreasing spread, and more than anything else, avoiding further variants from coming along. Right. Yeah. But do you believe that we should be more, uh, I don't even know if stringent is the word I'm looking for, <laughs> with the messaging about the right kind of mask? Because we, I see people a lot of times with the cloth mask, and I tend to just kind of stay way Understood. in the back. Mm -hmm. understanding that you know it might as you said if we're looking at mask then it's the cloth mask then the surgical mask then the kn95 and the n95 should we be more more stringent with the messaging of the correct mask so that we can give ourselves the best kind mm. of protection i understand what you're asking but i think um at this point in time i'm still going to go with any mask is yeah. better than no mask mm -hmm. if it is available to you to have something that appears to pr provide you a, uh, a higher level of protection, then yes, you can go ahead and, and, and seek those. But it's all about availability. Yeah. Um, at this point, once someone is wearing a mask, that's, what, that's, that's the best thing that we can do at this point in time. Uh, is mm -hmm. it the material? Is it how porous it is? What makes the difference between these masks? Well, it, as I said, um, if we're doing cloth masks, we're seeing at least two ply. Um, so some of these, obviously, the, the, the levels of protection increases. Um, the N95 in particular, you know, it's rated against a particular quality standard in the US, yeah. um, which we can't do with a mask that someone has sewn or made for themselves. We can't standardize that quality uh -huh. measure the same way. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it, it's quite possible that it can work just as well. It's just that a lot of these things, especially with the cloth mask, we don't have the data, Correct. so to speak, as to how, how well it works. But we know for sure that the N95 and the K95 and even these, you know, mm. do l offer, you know, a good amount of protection yes. against the coronavirus pandemic. So, Correctly. Dr. Final Words, I don't know where 15 <laughs> minutes goes, but I heard the, <laughs> the director in my ears just now counting me down. But final okay. words before we go. Final words. Any mask is better than no mask. Ensure that you wear your mask correctly and consistently. Please keep up with your vaccinations. And those who have not been vaccinated, seek a trusted source. Go to your physician. Find out if the vaccination is compatible with you. And if so, we, are, we would uh, appreciate if you consider becoming vaccinated. We want to win against this virus. Any new updates or guidelines from the CDC recently? Oh, well, the, mo the most in, um, recent would have been the masking guidelines. Right. Thank you. All right, Dr. <laughs> Rabathali, thank you so much for speaking with us this morning. And for those of you out there, you heard it. Any mask is better than no mask. And it, but try to choose what's available to you. But if you can, find the one that offers you the, the best protection. Well, the best way to protect yourself is to get vaccinated and to maintain the public health measures. We are going to go to a break. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with more. Everything match.